with part three, Layers of Fear. So just to see how we're doing here, we got two, oh, this doesn't even have a door anymore. I see, I guess the doors go away as we do each segment. Here's how our lovely, happy, cheerful painting is coming along. Very good. It was a couple of flamingos before, and now I don't know. It's like concept art for the thing or something. So, okay, let's uh, let's go. Is this uh, is this a different note? No, it's the same. Okay. <laughs> You think? I don't know. I can't tell if that door's locked or not. <laughs> Ooh, something here. Rotten soil. Nothing else grows. I see the dirt move. Rodent seeds. Grody. Well, that's a keeper, apparently. because that's where the vase crashed, but... Huh. It kind of annoys me that we can't... No! Oh! Um... Wow. Rambunctious poltergeist. Wakes up in a cave, finds a mysterious note on a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually, he winds up in a small cabin, where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious, brought on, brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his, murdered his father. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible, Thomas Caldwell. <coughs> That's his uh, agent. Okay, well, that's obviously blocked off. The hell. Uh, 
block. Uh-huh. I bet if we turn around... Oh. Um. I, I thought there might be a corridor. So... Huh. Oh. That is so freaking trippy. Uh, okay. Guess we're going this way. turned around and now we're in the room we were just looking into. Okay. That like indent of a person. I like it better with the light on. No. Okay. No! You okay? <sighs> yes, fine. Just a jump scare. There's a lot of them in this game. So I'll be doing that sound a lot. <laughs> September 15th. More notes today. Even worse than before. The sad part is I agree with every word. <clears throat> hmm. Sort of where we came in. Okay. I just want to see what's in these other, uh, Thank you, Michelle. Oh. Ugly. 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 You ordered a true portrait, so that's what I painted, you fucking plant. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face!
So he did not take kindly to the assessment of his uh, art. This is Rice's. Rice's all something. <clears throat> okay, so this will head this way. Yeah, and this is locked now, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. light on. Yay! I like it when I can turn lights on. Is this anything here? Can't look at any of these, really? Hmm. Oh. I can climb up this ladder. serves no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> okay then. To be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter. While it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. Oh, that's why he was looking for your skin graft info. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, M.D. <coughs> okay. Whoa. What the... That was the telephone. Oh. There it is. We can't answer it? I guess not. Now it's 
going forwards. Maybe now we can answer it. Hello? Yes, yes. speak. Ah! What? What, what fire? <laughs> fire? Oh, God. Is she... Which hospital? I'm on my way. Oh, that was the fire that was in the news article. Yeah. Restless memories. Oh, Jesus. Is that the paint monster or whatever? Oh, uh. Flapping horror, be quiet, constantly flapping, eating other rats. Thank you, Major Matoko. Okay, so another elevator. Ah, we can go up or down. I don't know, we went up last time. Let's go down this time. Wait a minute, I have to close the door first. It 
any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Uh, believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of shit, out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage, portray you as a victim of the system, a husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your da. Okay. You can still get your da. There you go. Abandon hope while you can. Lights. Hooray. Was there? There wasn't one over here, was there? No. Alright. Silent floaters, they clog the drains, fur in the water, no baths for me. Here, I can turn all the taps on. Never flushes. Okay. Wow, location that stayed the same when we went through a door. What a miracle. It's a ghost. Ooh. <laughs> All right. From love to madness, man apprehended after kidnapping his own daughter. 
Earlier today, a typically quiet and peaceful neighborhood witnessed a scene straight out of a crime drama as social services accompanied by armed police officers descended upon the residence of the once famous painter and recent widower. Apparently, the man had broken into a children's care center downtown and absconded with one of the young patients. Our sources claim that the girl was, in fact, the culprit's daughter, who had previously been removed from his care after a family court ruling. After unsuccessful attempts at negotiation, fearing that the man might harm the child, police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. Eyewitnesses claim that, as the paramedics, paramedics escorted the girl out of the house, the man, still in handcuffs, fell to his knees and repeatedly exclaimed, Please, she's all I have left. A truly tragic turn. is warped. Shrooms all over the floor. Aha. Body borrowers feeding on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. going to be another brick wall. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Whoa, trippy. Just keep moving. such low frequency bass in a game. that we could interact with. No. Oh, there. There's another one. So trippy. Okay. 
Hey, it's a piano. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Crazy. I'm in the middle of like terrifying moments and all I hear is you giggling like a maniac over there. So please try to keep it down. Okay. Okay. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> Creepy kid. Alright. Uh, well, I guess finding the bone thing was what we were supposed to do. So let's uh, get out of here. What? Oh. I was like, what? Ah. And sure enough, here we are. Oh, like sections of floor gone now. Huh. I don't know what the point of that is. Okay. Let's see how we did here. We picked up a few things. more for our wall of crazy. Okay, we can actually look at all of them there. That's cool. Prosthesis snatchers. Insatiable bastards. Oh. So, the burrowing insects, I guess. He's freaking out about these things. Body borrowers. Okay. Well, we have our bone. So I guess the idea is each component allows him to do more of the painting. So let's see 
what happens. We should have some lovely white paint now from the bone tissue. Uh huh. Oh, I wonder if he's. It almost looks like he's painting maybe himself. Interesting. Well, there was a lot of pictures of Dorian Gray references earlier, so that would kind of make sense. What if you fail? What indeed? 